What's up everybody, Vincent Visual here, bringing you guys another video. So I got the model coming in about, I'm gonna say, she should be in about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I got the whole little backdrop set up. I got light number, well technically, light number one set up over here. We got the Godox SKII um, strobe. I'm gonna put all the links to all the equipment that I use in the description of the video. On this side over here, we got the, um, Damn, it's kind of, hold on. There we go. Over here, we got the VA60 II speed light. Um, these speed lights are very affordable. You can get them for about 150 bucks. Uh, I basically just use this light as a rim light. And my first light over here, I use that as my main light over there. Right, right over there. Uh, this is actually gonna be my first shoot using the strobe light. I've never used a show before. I've bought this. I bought this light about I'm gonna say a week ago. Uh, I was recommended it by another fellow photographer, and he said, you know, it's it's an upgrade than using the speed light because the speed light. I usually shoot on max power with the speed light only because I don't usually get my desired results without it being on max power. Unfortunately, um, so I had to upgrade. I'm going to eventually get another light that's going to replace the speed light for when I do outdoor portraits and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the studio, you know. It's not much, I'm not really working with much right now, but then again, I am limited on space and what I can do. Um, I do eventually want to start working more in the actual studio, where I have more backdrops, more props and stuff like that, because like I said before, I'm limited on to what I can do here in this little space. But I've still captured some amazing images. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the screen now. And I've literally captured all of those images with two speed lights. I didn't have this light with all of those images. I've used, I used two VA60i speed lights um, for Canon. Um, the equipment that I'm using, I'm using the, well, for in terms of my camera, I'm using the EOS RP. I uh, can get that EOS RP with the 24 to 105 uh, 4.0 millimeter lens. You can get that for about, I'm gonna say around $1,400. But then again, I'm gonna have all the links to all the gear that I use in the description. That way you guys can go check it out if you guys want to purchase it for yourself. Now just bear with me. Um, I'm not really used to talking into a camera. I find it kind of weird, but honestly, if I wanna grow this YouTube, I'm gonna have to get over it and get used to it. So, yeah, here I am. All right, guys, so I'm here with the model. Hello. I'm going to put her at right here on the screen. Um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. Straight into it. I'm dying right now. It's hot. I'm dying. I'm in this. She's in that. So cool, cool, cool. Um, used to get copyrighted. All right, guys. So we just finished the first outfit. Now we're gonna go on and move on to the second outfit. What's for the second outfit? You said we wearing we wearing white. White. We got white. All white. All oh, white. Listen, hold on. We got a white backdrop, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to go ahead and use my Lightroom skills, manipulate the background, and we're going to see how that comes out. You think we can do it? Yep. Of she thinks we can do it, so we're going to do it. All right, guys. <laughs> you guys imagine just, like, holding this the whole time, vlogging? You know how heavy this camera is? This camera might not be that much weight at first, but after a while, after you continuously hold it like this... This is a whole workout right here, I'm not even gonna lie.
Oh my god. Again, I was not recording this whole time. But we got the video footage. Just send me the video footage. I'm just like, really? Come on, man. Yo, really, I had one girl to press one button. I couldn't even do it. But more like two. Because you almost have like. I mean, I did get some video on this. I got some video on this and there. See, that's like my backup. But this takes like more, it's like more sharp elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're not going to get the same ones up here. Alright. Three, two, three, two. When's the last time you were in the studio? Like December. Oh, so it's been a minute, minute. Yeah, and those pictures came out bad. They, you paid or not? No. Okay, I was about to say, if you paid for, for studio time, your pictures came out bad. She if you wanted another chance, I'm like, <laughs> that editing looks bad. What, what did he, like, how did he edit the photos? I look orange. See, that's why he fed up. That's why he fed Like, it's so easy. Like, it was using one lens tool. I think it's just using one. Even with one, you can still get valid photos, so I don't know. Whatever, listen, I'm here to save you, all right? We got you. Listen. Yes. We got the whole setup, so don't worry about it, I got you. All right, so from a one to a 10, rate the shoot. 54. 54? Mm -hmm. I like that, 54, <laughs> okay. What'd you like about it? I liked everything. I felt very comfortable in front of the camera, and sometimes that isn't the thing for everybody, but I did feel more comfortable, like, along with the whole shoot. Cool, cool. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah. So then again, I'm going to put her Instagram once again right here. All right? Yeah, right I'm putting right there. Right here. Right here. Right. <laughs> Definitely booking you again. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs>